Baldwin County schools start with a new midday tradition. All school lunches are free. News 5's Chad Petrie has more on the changes. As you can tell, this cafeteria is pretty busy and the kitchen is also busier too. You getting pizza, baby, or cereal? You've got a lot of food choices. Good morning, Jada Henderson. Good morning. And for a high energy principal like Michelle DeBose Adams, that's a good thing. While some might see the free lunches as a handout, she says this is nothing but a good thing. But if they work, they're paying taxes so their children eat. I just don't understand that. I also don't understand that we as Americans can take care of every other country and around the world, but we can't feed our own. In the back, the kitchen staff preps a little more food than usual. Yes, it's a little bit more work, but in the end, it all kind of adds up to be the same. Last year, 63% of students at Eichold Mertz Elementary were on free or reduced lunches. Just the uncertainty of knowing, you know, who's actually going to come in, but we try to make sure that we have enough food prepared for every child that comes in and wants to eat lunch. Most parents say this is a big help. Because all my life, I had to pay for lunch from, I'm talking about kindergarten all the way to 12th grade. So, for her to come in and not have to pay, that's good. It's, it's, it's a lifesaver. It helps out. Mm -hmm. I think that's the least the public school system of Mobile could do. One other benefit to the program is that nobody has to fumble with any spare change for lunch money. In Mobile, Chad Petrie, News 5. Of course, lunches aren't without some cost. While no students pay up front, federal tax dollars fund USDA programs like this. The Mobile County Public School System isn't the only school district in the state to qualify for the free lunches. 94 out of 135 public school districts are eligible. That's more than 4,000 schools and 285,000 students impacted. Most